So the glitches are sometimes when you're falling down from attacking an enemy in the air, what'll happen is sometimes you'll get stuck because there's some enemies below you, right? Then other times you'll actually be stuck in the section that you're in. Like you won't be able to walk forward or backward to the side or jump or roll or nothing. Well, this is what I like about the ISO cameras. You can see most of what's going on. And what will happen with those leaders that do the targeting beam for the assault goblins is um, it'll cause their missiles to come at you a lot faster and that'll happen in two ways. Then of course there's these trolls that shoot grenades and then there's also the ones that will shoot beams at you like there's one that will freeze you. And if you do the level 2 select and you take that alternate path there's this bridge that that happens on. Then there's this one glitch. Now I was in one of the uh, arenas in level two, and I got on the elevator, and the elevator went, but I didn't go with the elevator. And it's like, what the hell's up with that? Then there's this one. I was on level two, and I did this air melee attack, right? And when I fell, I fell through the floor and just kept going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Oh, and trolls are weak against lasers too, by the way. But your combo meter, depending on if you're a human or a, uh, a cyborg, will happen is the more enemies you kill, the more efficient you'll become. With a uh, with the human, stupid polarity enemy, and with the cyborg, the more damage you'll do, which is actually quite useful. Screw it. Let's activate the sentient.
Wow, I didn't have to do jack shit. And the, and the sentient is good for when you're about to die and there's a bunch of enemies. Why did you not warn me of his deception? And your sword is Fenrir. And in Norse mythology, the god Tyr bound Fenrir to, I don't know what, and lost his wrist. And sometimes the wrist is called the wolf's joint. Well, he lost his hand, it was bit off at the wrist. Sometimes the wrist is called wolf's joint because of that. And there's three Norns, Erd, Verdandi, and Skold. And they don't really tell you what's going on in the level. So I, why are you doing this? Is this the power core? Is that the engine? They don't tell you that. You know, and this game is fairly, really, really, really linear. But they don't tell you what's going on in the level, you know. I don't know why I just did that. Oh, yeah, and there's polarity charts, too. And sometimes you can jump on trolls, but if there's not enough room to rock back and forth, they'll just, uh, you kind of just fall. And I like these light polarity trolls because they're easy to kill. Oh, and you can't do two-in-ones if your initial attack doesn't make contact. And that's just what happened to me there. I tried to do a two-in-one ruiner and it didn't happen. So now I'm done with my review. Um, I bought this for $30. It's alright for $30. If I bought it for $60, I would have been doing pissed. If I bought it for $60, I would have given it even two one and three quarter stars. Since I bought it for $30, I give it a good three and a half. So, next videos are going to be the boss battles.